We're starting to get more information about the new Daredevil series, Daredevil Born Again, including some behind the scenes images and footage of costumes, including Daredevil's costume and Bullseye's costume. Hi, I'm Phil, and if you're new to this channel, well, I talk about all sorts of geeky pop culture like Doctor Who, Red Dwarf, and the MCU. So that's what I'm talking about today, and the new Daredevil TV series, which is coming firmly part of the MCU, and canonizing the previous Daredevil series from Netflix, because it's got loads of the same cast returning, we've got Foggy Nelson returning, we've got Karen Page returning, we have Bullseye returning, we have Kingpin returning. It's a continuation of that series, in essence. And today, we've seen some costumes, Daredevils and Bullseye, so let's take a look at them and see what we think. First of all, let's look at Daredevil's costume. It's definitely a different costume than we're used to seeing. When he appeared in She-Hulk, he basically had his Netflix outfit repainted in new colours, but the the kind of padding and everything, all the all the bits on it were all of the same bits. They were just repainted. And with his more recent appearance in Echo, it looked like he had the same red suit that he had had in the Daredevil Netflix TV series, which makes sense given when that particular scene was set. It was set around the time of the original Netflix series, or at least shortly afterwards. But now it looks like he's got a whole new suit again, and I don't entirely know how to feel about it. This is what it looks like. And on the one hand, I am very glad that they've moved away from what they had in She-Hulk, which was the yellow and red kind of coloring. For me, that look, while it was fine in that series for that one appearance, and was a nice homage to uh, what Daredevil's original costume was in terms of continuity of the comics. I don't particularly like it. I've never really liked the yellow costume in the comics either, so, I'm quite glad it was a one-off appearance. Maybe he was just trying something new. We've gone back to red here, but it's a brighter red for starters. It's a much more vibrant red, and the suit has sort of a different look to it. It's much more skin tight in many ways, much more traditional spandex-like superhero-esque. It's clearly, I mean, it's not spandex, but it kind of has that more form-fitting aesthetic that traditional older style superhero movies might have had less of the armor basically it looks slightly less armored although there are still armored elements to it it's a lot less armored it's still got some texture on it which is nice well i don't know i maybe i really liked that netflix series suit and i am a little sad to see it go however i don't mind this it's okay i do think we could possibly be nice to get the DD on his chest as well to go for Daredevil. That's a thing from the comics, that's what he has sometimes. Maybe get that. It does very much look more in line with the comic book costume than it does, than the more armoured version did from the Netflix series. So I get what they're going with here. Then we've got Bullseye. Now this is more of a departure both from what we've seen from Bullseye in the TV series in the past and also Bullseye from the comics. It's a kind of halfway between the two because of course Bullseye when he appeared in season three of Daredevil on Netflix didn't have a costume. He was a corrupt cop who was just in his sort of standard clothes most of the time. Here he definitely has a costume but it's not quite the costume from the comics. What we've got is a kind of very again tight-fitting outfit the kind of very body hugging, but it does look like he's got separate trousers and a top. He's got these, uh, he's got lots of weapons uh, holstered on there. He's got a holster around his front, some on his, um, on his belt buckle as well. Probably has something on his back. And then he's got this sort of ski mask effect thing over his face where you can only see his eyes. Now, what I do like about this is that they have done an homage to the uh, comic book costume by doing the kind of like lines. They're much more subtle in this costume than they are in the comic book costume, but you've got the lines kind of going across circles around his sort of chest area and around his head on his shoulders. And uh, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with them not being white lines. That's absolutely fine. A bit more subtle is okay. And the gun holster, while not part of his costume in the comics, at least as far as I can remember, uh, yeah, that makes sense too. That makes sense for the character. I'm not sure about the mask though. In the comics, 
The mask he wears always has an exposed sort of mouth and actually covers the eyes mostly. And I think that's a slightly better look than this. This is just a kind of a generic ski mask thing. It's possible we might see this as an evolution, the midpoint, like we got the black costume in Daredevil season one and then we progress to the red costume. Maybe we'll get something similar here where by the end of the season we get him coloring in those white stripes, putting the bullseye on his forehead and we get maybe doing a cutting out the mouth or something. I don't know, but maybe we'll get something more in line with the comic book costume by the end of the season. I hope so anyway. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very happy that this character is back. I thought he was brilliant in season three of Daredevil, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the character now. I'm trying to expand out a little bit more of the content that I do on this channel, so I'm really going to try and do some more MCU stuff in the near future and expand into other areas as well. But if you like Doctor Who, I also do a lot of do Doctor Who content on this channel, so if you like any of that stuff at all, do subscribe down below and like and share and all that jazz. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more videos soon. Goodbye.